All right, guys, the last thing I'm going to talk about is breath support. Obviously, this is super huge um, and singing in general, but when you're singing those higher notes and having to sustain high notes over um, a long period of notes, or you know, sometimes it's a long same phrase, it becomes a lot more challenging. Um, so here's where your breathing and phrasing techniques come into play. What the ones I like to you are, use for this is especially the Alleluia descants because they're um, a little bit longer um, and they most definitely require you to pace a little bit more when it comes to um, pacing your breath and being um, smart about when you breathe or having a really nice breath. So for the Alleluia, let's just for the first time we go through. your uh, normal melody now let's do the descant which honestly these are my favorites anyway so Okay, a few pointers on these. You're gonna take a breath, do it before the very last Alleluia, not before um, the first one, because the first one moves so nicely into the next one. Um, and I think it's a little easier to sneak a breath in before the last one. <clears throat> and again, making sure you're prepared. Um, so let's say we have the end of the Alleluia phrase, you know it's coming, take a nice deep breath from, from within, below. If you can go through the whole phrase without taking a breath, that will definitely maximize the beauty and, and the flowing of the phrase. Um, when you're practicing, and you can't necessarily do this in church unless you are in a place where you can't be seen, when you're practicing, you want to make sure that you um, imagine lifting and lifting and just keep pushing up the whole time. If you start bearing down, chances are you're gonna run out of breath quicker than what you would if you kept lifting your phrase. And you notice my hands were moving that one time because it helps me um, physicalize the movement and, and to control my breath and say, okay, I still, I still have more breath. I need to control it and use it in a way um, that will work well. And, and create this beautiful descant phrase. Okay, uh, let's try that again. <laughs> I'm kind of out of breath, so let's give myself one, two, three, four. So. And then I can end the phrase and and go almost as I can go as long as the um, organ is playing or whenever um, we decide to cut off. But um, the Alleluia is definitely think about your vowel modification. Keep it Alleluia, all super tall and easy to sing, right? And then the L's just use those as like a catalyst to keep the A. Um, yeah, so I guess phrasing and and knowing when to take the breath, proper breath, is, is super important. So practice these beforehand. Um, write in a super quick breath if you need to. If not, really try to power through to the next phrase, um, especially on these responsorial psalms and acclamations if you're doing descants for. They're certainly doable to get through with one breath if you have a good breath support. Um, other ones like um, descants to mass music or like the Celtic Alleluia might take a little bit more practice in terms of here's where I need to take a breath 